Welcome to Children's Church this week, boys and girls. Last week we talked about Pentecost, the coming of God's Holy Spirit. Well, this week we're going to think about what people should be able to see when they know that we believe in God. We're going to be thinking about the fruit of God's Holy Spirit. Before we do that, though, let's sing our first song, and it's called Here I Am to Worship. For this day and all that you give us, we thank you, God. For the gift of your Holy Spirit, we thank you, God. For times that we play, times that we learn, and times that we help others out, we thank you, God. Lord, for all the times we have let you, ourselves, or others down, we are sorry. Be with us as we gather in your name. Be with us, Lord. Amen. It's time for our Bible reading now and it comes from the New Testament and it was a letter from a letter written by a very enthusiastic Christian called St Paul and it talks about the fruit of the Spirit. 
but the Spirit gives love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. There is no law that says these things are wrong. Those who belong to Jesus Christ have crucified their own sinful selves. They have given up their old selfish feelings and the evil things they wanted to do. We get our new life from the Spirit, so we should follow the Spirit. We must not be proud, we must not make trouble for each other, and we must not be jealous of each other. Now I've got a, a little video from Life Kids Church, and um, it explains a bit more about the fruit of the Spirit, and I think they do a super job. I hope you get a lot of understanding out of it and plus I really enjoy the way that they've put this video together. What kind of tree is that? Wait, I know. It's an apple tree. How can you tell? Because it's got apples on it. Apples are my favorite fruit. No, oranges. Wait, bananas. Bananas are definitely my favorite. My favorite fruit is love. Love? Love isn't a fruit. Sure it is. Love is a fruit of the Spirit. Fruit of the what? The fruit of the Spirit. In the book of Galatians, Paul writes about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When we walk with the Holy Spirit, that's the fruit we can expect to see in our lives. I'm not a tree. I don't have fruit. The fruit of the Spirit doesn't grow on trees. It grows in us because of what we are. An apple tree naturally makes apples, an orange tree naturally makes oranges, and a banana tree makes... Bananas! Right! And all who follow Jesus have God's Holy Spirit living inside them. So when they choose to let God's Holy Spirit guide them, what naturally comes out is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Right! All the fruit of the Spirit! And just like you can tell an apple tree by its apples, the fruit of God's Holy Spirit lets others know that we belong to God. But without the power of God's Holy Spirit, Paul says a different fruit grows in us, the fruit of our sinful nature. That does not sound good. It isn't. That fruit is selfishness, pride, anger, envy, disobedience, greed, fighting, and anything that keeps us from getting along with each other and loving others the way God does. That fruit always makes us want more stuff, because we think stuff can make us happier than God can. That fruit leaves us empty instead of full. Ew, I don't want that fruit. I want love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But I get angry sometimes, and I'm not very patient. Guess I'll just have to try harder. Paul tells us trying harder won't get us anywhere. That's because our own strength only lasts a little while. But those who follow Jesus have declared that their sinful nature is dead. Now we can choose to live by the power of God's Holy Spirit instead. We can spend time with Him and pray and get to know Him, for real. And as we get to know God's Holy Spirit more... I know! The power of God's Holy Spirit will make more of the fruit of the Spirit grow in us. Like bananas! <laughs> like bananas! I hope you enjoyed that, because I did when I watched it. Let's say our prayers. Lord, help us remember that Jesus loves each one of us and prepares the way ahead for us in our lives and wants to share the gift of God's Holy Spirit with us. Thank you that you love us and believe in us. Thank you for the people we can trust in our lives. May they be blessed by you in the care that they show us. When we feel that no one is listening when we pray, give us patience to wait for your reply. As we think about how to share your love with others, help us to be people of courage, just like your first disciples. We ask for your help for all those who are sick, especially those we know who aren't well. May they be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit and by those God sends to help them. Help us to remember that you are with us at all times and that we can trust you. Let us praise your name always. And this is a very special prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And our sending out at the end. I've put the grace in just to remind us that God is three in one. We've got God, we've got Jesus and the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Time for our song, Amazing Grace of the Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Through many dangers, toils, and snares. Another beautiful song by Dami Im. I hope you enjoyed it too, boys and girls. Some of those words and some of the ideas that come from it might be a bit tricky. So how about you ask your grown-ups to help explain some of them? We're going to say goodbye now. Have a great week. Keep safe, healthy and happy. God bless and see you next time. Bye.